Hello Libra, we're getting ready to do your reading. This is a lovely reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's take a look and see the overall energy. Ooh, loyal heart. That is a great start. It is a loyal heart, right? That's how we find love, a loyal heart. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Ooh, happy, happy Libra. This is a beautiful reading so far. I like the overall energy. What else do we have for Libra? So two came out, I'll take two. Poised, you are ready, willing, able. Oh, okay. You're poised to chop wood. So whatever needs to be done in the relationship, you are willing to address it. So let's look and see what your energy is, Libra. for Libra. What are the highest and best messages? Spirit for Libra. Let's take a look and see what we have here. So we have, in the recent past, you have felt bored. Currently, you're feeling tempted. Woo! Be careful with that double card, Libra. You want a victory. That's how you want your love life to work out right now. Currently, you're keeping to yourself, your thoughts, your feelings, your intentions. You're very bothered by the fact that somebody else is, I feel like, you know, this is narcissism. This is control issues. This is toxicity. And it looks like it's really getting to you. You know, you're like, God, can't you leave me alone? Interesting energy for a love reading. Okay, six of coins energy. You expect equal give and take. You want to go the distance in this relationship. The two of coins. Okay, Libra, so you feel like you're being juggled. Okay, so what I see is that you are most likely in a relationship, for those with whom it resonates, that you want loyalty. You are happy in the relationship, but the chopping wood is this devil toxic energy. You don't know quite what to do to get rid of it. You know, you want the victory, that's Leo, Capricorn, uh, Cancerian energy, Cancer. Um, we have Libra energy here. Six of Coins is Taurus, World card is Aquarius, Two of Pentacles is Capricorn, and Eight of Pentacles is Virgo. So there's a lot of Earth energy here too. So let's go ahead and see what your person is feeling here. Their energy. Oops, Daisy, I want to take these cards out of here. They were in here from the last shuffle. Oh, goodness. we got two decks mixed up here. Well, I'm just going to keep them. Spirit wants us to have those cards, but at the bottom of the deck, I will say for you, Libra, is the Four of Wands. So the hidden energy, the energy that you're coming into the reading with overall is how to get this relationship on a track up to an including marriage because you would like to be married to this person. Okay, so let's see where they're at in all of this. So these cards are going to clarify how they feel about the recent past. You're bored. You're feeling very dissatisfied. So let's see what their energy is. Well, they're strong. They feel an interest in you that is not going anywhere anytime fast. It looks like you might have been with this person or they have a very strong attraction to you with the strength card. Oh, but look at this, the Four of Cups. They think that you're controlling. You feel, that's really interesting energy. They think that you're controlling. They're not happy with that. Interesting that that energy is like doubling over. Where you're feeling the Six of Wands, they're feeling the Six of Swords. So where you're moving forward, you want victory. Your person is saying, you know, I'm not sure if this is right for me. So, interesting energy. So Libra, what's going on here? What's going on? You're such a sweet natured person. Okay, so we have Ten of Swords here. This person has some sense of being misjudged, of something going wrong in the relationship. They feel stabbed in the back. 
I do feel as though you may not trust them a lot because when we look at this devil energy and we look at this, your attraction to each other is very strong. Both of you have it. You feel like this is a sexy devil for sure. But it looks like both of you have a level of discontent where you want a victory, you want to introduce this person to all your friends, make it very public. This person's like, no, I'm not ready for that. The Ten of Swords, you know, we see you in this energy of being very discreet, very thoughtful, very loving, very nurturing, but holding back also. But your person, Ten of Swords, you know, that's it, that energy. That Ten of Swords energy is betrayal. That, that person's like laid out. You might be dealing with somebody who's come into a new relationship with you with a lot of issues which is how I am reading this energy for you. The Two of Swords, you're bothered by something this person does or says. I do think that you think they're a bit egocentric. You know, we've got this Leo energy in here twice. So, interesting. I'm getting the chariot card. So you want equal give and take. They are coming towards you. So that's great news. With that chariot energy, that's Cancerian, 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 Cancerian. So there's a lot of emotion here in this connection. So why is, okay, so how does your person feel in the hidden energy? The world card says that you're thinking this could be over that it is over, that your person's moved away, that they're heading a different direction. You feel as though you might have been ghosted. I'm not really seeing necessarily betrayal, except that this person looks as though they might not have agreed with you to be uh, exclusive. But here we go. Your person does want exclusivity. Your person does want to um, have something long-term with you. Two of Cups energy is beautiful. It's a bride and groom in the Rider Waite deck. The High Priestess is appearing again. You're the High Priestess here. They're the High Priestess there. So you're very intuitive. I would say that you're probably communicating in the 5D very definitely. You're invested in this relationship. You're going from the Six of Coins to the Eight of Coins. So let's see what's going on with them. Eight of Wands. So they're very invested in the physicality of the relationship. You know, when we get this energy that... Um, it's very interesting, though. They think that you're a femme fatale or the devil incarnate. And they, they their response to that is, ooh, but here's what I'm seeing. Your person feels that you're a player. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting your person feels that you're a player and it's only a matter of time before you hurt them. Do they find you amazing? Yes, they do. Do they? Are they fearful? Yes, they are. Are they thinking that, you know, are they wondering if they should get in the relationship? Yes, they are because we have the Ten and the Six of Swords. But they're moving in. Look at this. We have a really solid level of movement coming forward here. Now as you move forward into the days ahead, you're getting your person saying, Schwing, I am the King of Wands, Leo Energy. I'm moving towards you very swiftly. I know you want equal give and take. You may think this is over because I didn't respond to Libra the way you thought I would respond earlier, but I actually do want you. I do see the value. Um, Libra, what your person is saying here is that they are not dating two people or juggling two people. So that's a clarification you didn't have here. And we're seeing both of you, the number eights are stability. We see both of you wanting something stable. Your person wants stable passion. Let's go ahead and clarify the energy here of um, your mutual energy, okay? So let's look and see. So we look at the mutual energy of the Strength card and the Four of Cups. What's the outcome of this energy in the recent past? Okay, nice. Stability and 
feeling a lot for each other but not talking about it. Okay, so give us clarifiers on the devil energy with the Four of Cups. Okay, now, okay. So the Ace of Coins, the Three of Cups, and the Three, the Ten of Cups, excuse me. Ace of Coins, Three of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So when we get the Ace of Coins, it shows that both of you want the relationship. The Ten of Cups says it's a very compelling relationship, but both of you are very afraid of a third party situation. There's been heartbreak here before. Why is the Three of Swords here? You have Five of Swords, so it looks as though somebody was dishonest, somebody cheated. Who was it that cheated? Was it Libra or their partner? And, you know, I'm not even sure that this is actual cheating. I just feel like, yeah, the, the Knight of Cups. Okay, so what I'm getting for the majority of you is that this is a new development. This is a new opportunity in love. I'm seeing that there's a lot of concern and old wounds and difficult situations where the two of you need to really get on the same page. And both of you need to really be in it to win it. One person can't help or pull the relationship. Yep, Nine of Swords. You're both very worried. Both of you are very worried. Both of you are feeling like you want to get this thing grounded and you're trying to figure out how to do it. Why is the Ten of Swords and the High Priestess here? A new beginning, okay. So it's sort of like wiping the slate clean. Again, I feel as though this is not so much an outward betrayal as as if it's like somebody you met on a dating website and you went out with them and you liked them and you found out that they weren't being exclusive with you. Yeah, the hermit card, good. Pulling that energy back, pulling the energy back, going into a more spiritual energy, you know, being your best selves, coming together for a new beginning. The King of Swords says, you know, the King of Swords is very much peaceful. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. And so it does look like the two of you had a rocky beginning dating experience. But it looks like it's really smoothing out into something much more uh, loving, much more tender, much deeper, much more caring. Let's see what do we have here. The temperance, a reconciliation. So I'm seeing a reconciliation here for you, Libra. It looks as though it's going to be very passionate. It's very exciting. It's Sagittarius energy. And both of you are feeling the same way. You're both feeling as though if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Both of you want stability. Both of you want a new beginning after an ending. The Tower card. Why is the Tower card here? The Tower card and the Death card next to each other. Oof. Oof. Okay, good. So it does look like the Tower card is coming in, and it basically says, surprise, surprise, there is a happily ever after here. That, that you know, we can work on this. The eights are stabilities. We go to the nine. So what else? Why is the Tower card here? Why did it appear here? It's a surprise. The Tower card doesn't always have to be devastating. So it does show a reconciliation. This is a reunion. This is reconciliation. This is a rebirth after a death. So let's see what, what is it that, what's a chopped wood here for you, Libra? What is this chopped wood? Chopped wood for Libra, yeah. So it does look as though you have, the, the two of you have moved past this energy of not being on the same page. Both of you appear to be good people. You both seem to want the same thing. It just looks as though they're, you know, you're both loyal hearts, but you weren't quite ready. Yep, there we go. You were both, you've both been hurt. You both had to clean up your vibrations from, um, you know, other situations. Happy, happy is clarified as with the Page of Cups. So both of you are sort of beginning again, and it does look like it's a reconciliation after a, a very difficult beginning. Libra, that's what I have for you. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.